On the first day of the apocalypse, the first thing I needed to do was find better melee weapons and guns from the police station. Along the way, I gathered food and essentials while avoiding any fight that I could. I did have to fight a few zoids and continue to the fire station to start making base. I ran across an annotated map marking a janitor's truck in Louisville. I figured I'd better save this for a future date since I'm nowhere near able to handle the population of the city in my current state. After clearing out the fire station, it was time to Luggage. take inventory. I gathered medical supplies and headed over to the police station to gather weapons and possibly get into the armory. When I got there, the door was locked and I had to find a screwdriver to dismantle the door. I fought some more zomboids in hopes of finding one to no avail. I ripped the clothing up from the dead zoys to gather ripped sheets, denim, and thread for later training. I broke my baseball bat in a fight and had to start using my carpenter hammer to defend myself. I regrouped with fellow survivors to finish clearing out the station of any more potential threats. We spent the next couple hours sorting inventory and reading books to boost some skills, and as night fell on our first day, we went to sleep. Not even an hour after midnight into day two, one of the survivors was showing signs of the Zoid infection. Even with very little medical expertise within the group, we still had to amputate. After a successful amputation procedure, the survivor was adjusting to his new handicap. After that, we sat around and enjoyed the public training show first thing in the morning to get the day started right. We cleared out our inventory and started combing through the city to find more resources. My first stop was the bookstore so I could gather as much knowledge as I could. We only have a few months before it gets cold and we needed sustainable food as well as clothing. I filled my backpack to the brim with any books that might contain any useful information and skills and then headed back down the road to the base to drop it off. We found a hammer and a screwdriver to dismantle the door but when we went to the police station, the chief was beating on a piece of glass, a quick deletion of his undead soul, and we had a key to the armory. After stripping the station of all weapons and ammo, we took it back to the base and started unloading before calling it a day. I went out for a lone scavenge just meandering around Rosewood. I found a bike for temporary transportation and looked around the map. I gathered a few books and finished the day off just reading. Turn that off, I'm gonna go grab a little snick snack. On the fourth day, we woke up and grabbed something to eat and then started everything off with a cooking show to get more recipes. I searched a few garages and broke into an adjacent house to look for more items I could use. On my way home, I had to fight my way through some more Zoids to get back to base. I spent some time looking at an abandoned car that seemed promising, but I settled for a new red bike instead. I had a close call with a mistimed swing, but I prevailed and continued my search. Oh my god, I almost... Almost bunked myself right there, dude. That was about it. Taking apart and installing car parts to train my mechanic skills so I could hotwire cars. I hopped on my bike and continued home with a hard-hitting entrance. After patching myself up, we planned the rest of our goals for the day. I think with the amount of ammo and stuff that we do currently have, we should be okay to go to the prison if we wanted to. And that is exactly what we wanted to do. We went ahead and put up all of our inventory items that we weren't going to need. We hopped in the car and we started heading to the prison. Oh. Now, if you didn't know, the prison is full of zombies. But there's also an armory there that we me, wanted to go so. and raid. So the goal here was to yeah, get to the prison good. and then I was going to distract the zombies not outside good. while using my shotgun to clear out the masses. There was a ton of zombies and my shotgun only had Hello. three shots at a time. So I spent a lot of my time just avoiding getting caught up in a situation I didn't want to be in while my partner was grabbing all of the weapons out of the prison and loading them into the van. Okay, I got quite a few zombies still with me. I do, if all else fails, have a screwdriver and a hammer. We'll just take too. that door apart. It's just going to make a lot of noise. Um, I don't think they're going to worry too much about the noise you're making. And they absolutely paid no mind to what he was doing in that armory, gathering all the weapons and ammo. I ran around the parking lot for a little bit longer to keep to them off attention. of him, and then he Don't got they, everything loaded into the van while I ran around, down. and we got home without really too much of a hiccup. I did spend a little bit of time checking out the vehicles in the parking lot, hopefully getting some better car parts or a better car that we could just drive in general. We went home, unloaded some of the weapons that we could, and then we went to bed. We made it back to base, baby. With Rosewood mostly being looted, we were ready to start moving on to bigger and better things. The fifth day started out with us just transferring some gas cans to one van to the next. That way I could go up to the gas station on the north side of Rosewood to fill up the oh, tank, gather some food, and get ready to start heading to Madral. 
Madral is the next biggest city east of where we are currently, and the reason we needed to go is when the power goes out, you need a generator, and in order to use a generator, you have to have a how to use a generator magazine. There are these storage units that tend to have it spawned fairly often, so we wanted to prep to be able to go up to Madral for a couple days and try to find out if we could find this how to use generators magazine. After I grabbed food, I went up to the mechanic shop on the north end of Rosewood to find anything that would be useful like scrap metal, spare parts, wrenches, tire jacks, lug nuts, anything that would be useful in our journey up to Madral. Even something as minuscule as the magazine that I need in order to be able to work on most of the common cars. I grabbed everything I needed, loaded it up in the van per the usual, and then headed back to base to do a little bit of reading before we went to sleep and then headed up to Madral. Fill up some gas while we're here. We stopped and filled up for some gas, and then we headed down the road and stopped off at a camp that looked like some survivors got overran. We continued up to Madral until we ran into the intersection where a bunch of cars were hanging out, and I wanted to take apart as many as I could to make sure that we had enough parts that we could make it through without our car dying while we're driving through Madral. Okay, I have fixed most of the engine. It should stop turning off on us now. As we approached the southern border of Madral, we stopped off to try to take a look at the police station, and as we did, we noticed that there was quite a few more zombies than we had anticipated to begin with. We ran around in circles trying to get Why rid of most of this horde go? while we worked our way towards the police station. I'm going to attempt to run back over to the towards the police station. Just outside the police station, we started to get a little overwhelmed. I ran around to try to disperse the group, and as I did, I noticed that my up. friend was starting to get bit, and bit a lot. Luckily, he was wearing a firefighter outfit, and we don't have to worry about any bites or having to amputate. They didn't actually bite through his clothes. How you oh looking, buddy? Oh my god, I am, I'm actually fine. Are you? Okay, there's lots of stuff in here, Katie. We searched through the lockers, the shelves, and we gathered a plethora of brand new weapons and ammo. We took all that back home, but we had to fight our way through to the van. There was still a lot of Zoids hanging around the van where we parked it. We fought off all the zombies, and then we headed home to go put everything up. Even though we didn't find the how to use your generator magazine, we did end up with a lot more weapons in our arsenal. We went home, we put everything up, and we kind of concluded this week as a win. We still need to go back to Madral to get up to the storage unit place, but all in all, it's been a really successful week in the Zomboid universe. Thank you so much for watching. I have attached a link to the store with all my new shirts on there. It helps support the channel and you'll get a really neat shirt. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment if you've played Zomboid and you enjoy it. I love you, mean it, bye. I will see you in the next one, and as always, remember to stay girthy, my friends.